it is likely the worst nightmare to discover that files on your PC are encrypted. Ransomware is a malware designed to deny a user or organization access to files on their computer by encrypting these files and demanding a ransom payment for the decryption key. Cyber attackers place organizations in a position where paying the ransom is the easiest and cheapest way to regain access to their files. For every victim, ransomware generates a unique online key. Analysts define six main stages of a ransomware attack. Compromise. It is also sometimes called an initial injection. At that point, attackers inject the malware into the network or the device if it is an attack against the individual user. Infection. At this stage, crooks use the initial presence in the network they gained to inject the malicious payload. Most of the escalation stages in corporate networks are done through vulnerability exploitation, particularly ones that escalate privileges. Scan. That step supposes scanning the infected machine to detect all the files ransomware can cipher. Encryption may take minutes or hours, depending on the number of files on the attacked machines. When the encryption is over, malware notifies the victim about the attack. It usually generates a ransom note file on the desktop and in each folder with ciphered files. All these stages may happen during a single day and within a month. However, the order, as well as the sense of these steps, always remains the same. Although there are countless strains of ransomware, they mainly fall into two main types, crypto ransomware and locker ransomware. Locker blocks basic computer functions. For example, you may be denied access to the desktop while the mouse and keyboard are partially disabled. The aim of crypto ransomware is to encrypt your important data, such as documents, pictures and videos, but not to interfere with basic computer functions. This spreads panic because users can see their files, but cannot access them. Ransomware in all its forms and variants poses a significant threat both to private users and companies. This makes it all the more important to keep an eye on the threat it poses and to be prepared for it. Use antivirus and anti-malware software or other security policies to block known payloads from launching. Make frequent, comprehensive backups of all important files and isolate them from local and open networks. Use a proper antimalware and keep your privacy well 